Hey guys, this is uh, Laker Coleman and you here. Uh, as you see here, I have Ubuntu on the screen. Now, you know the audio is going to look out of cynic and totally moving out with my lips. Reason being because I recorded off the wrong microphone. So my audio is really, really low. So I'm re-recording this with narration of uh, Windows Movie Maker. So it looks like my lips aren't moving at the same rate and it probably does a huge amount. So don't worry about that. Anyways, uh, I am finally installed Ubuntu. The, uh, it's complete here. I'm just uh, going through the steps. Well, it's not totally complete. Just still have to install things. But as part of you know now it is. But in this video, as I was making it, I, I show you through the steps that I go through. And of course, it gives you the basic questions of time, date, stuff, stuff like that. And I did get this uh, stuff uh, partitioned, and I got a lot of help from a friend named Steve. Uh, he runs a great site and really great friend. Uh, so Steve, if you're watching, thanks a lot. I wanna. Thank you a lot for all the help you gave me throughout that. We were in an IM chat. And I was up to like three doing this guy, so like, really, really, uh, it was worth it though. Uh, my opinions on Ubuntu so far, I love it. It's really, really great. And, you know, uh, there's a lot of programs. It's a little confusing at times, but, you know, I'm still picking up. And I do a boot with XP. And sorry, my webcam's all shaky, so I'm moving around and stuff. Anyways, if you see here, on the screen, uh, this is the setup. I'm just waiting for it to get into focus here. It is about in focus, not yet. Not yet. There you go. Well, here we have the uh, right now. I'm just uh, picking the languages, stuff like that. It's pretty simple. My time zone, huge list of time zones that Ubuntu offers. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, and uh, I picked the closest one to me in just about right time, maybe like a minute or two off. See, I miss it. If you see here, I miss it like the first time. Look how huge this list is. Now, Ubuntu, if you don't know what it is, it's an operating system. It's a distribution of Linux, a great operating system. One of the closest operating systems equivalent to the Mac OS X. Runs on terminal, not, CM, not command prompts. And it's a really, really great alternative to Windows or Mac OS X. I'm dual booting this with uh, Windows XP. And as you see here, I'm just finding uh, my time zone, which I should find soon. I think I passed it, and I had to go find it again. So, but yeah, the reason I'm redoing this video again is because my audio is really, really, really low. So, and, and I think I, okay, here you go. Now I just have to go forward. See, it's really easy steps. Now this is where I first got confused. So this is maybe the most confusing part of the setup. And that's partitioning your hard drive. Depending on your hard drive space, it could be annoying. So, I'm sorry about that weird effect right there. That's because when you when I hold the camera too close, it does that. So, because it's an old CRT monitor. So, this is your keyboard layout. I was thinking of going out with with Dvorak, which is basically it uses the layout of QWERTY to Dvorak, D V O R A K, placing all the letters that are common together. So it's faster to type. But I just decided to use a QWERTY, and that bar you just saw lo loaded up is a partitioner. Basically I'm just gonna partition my hard drive space. I have a 167 gigabyte hard drive uh, and basically it, uh, it's a 167 gigabyte hard drive and basically it's gonna uh, on Windows I use around 19.2 gigabyte hard drive so uh, you know that's gonna be you know I, I, yeah 19 no 18.2 actually I only run like one common one game on there, which is Stronghold, and like that's like all my entertainment, and then I have all my web browsers and apps, third-party apps stuff like that, which I run, and then I cut like half of it, like 68, 72 uh, gigabytes of that for uh, Ubuntu, just so it can run nice and fast. And at first, when I booted it into XP, it only has 49 gigs left, and I'm still running on 18.2. That's still a lot for me, cause you know I can still run like what was that 68 total. I think I think that's what I set it to run six no it's like sixty eight or sixty four total I think sixty four uh, basically that's still a lot for me guys a lot of hard drive space uh, enough to run Windows on so wait yeah forty nine plus it's around forty nine plus eighteen so that's about sixty uh, yeah wait sixty seven I think yeah uh, around there so that's still a lot for me and I'm getting an external hard drive for XP and Vista my laptop which is running Vista and my XP uh, machine, so right here it takes a while because it has to select your keyboard layout, it has to go through all the stuff. But you know, for the most part, XP runs fine up to now. And and here we go. Here's a partitioner. Here's where I got stuck, guys. I got stuck here. As you see here, this is the partition. 
and uh, it kept on, I kept on getting errors and errors and errors and errors because I couldn't get the right drive space and stuff like that and uh, I was about to go into GE parted and uh, like I said Steve helped me a lot with this part so uh, again props to Steve thanks a lot he helped me a lot with this part and uh, here's my laptop that I was running Vista on showing how I uh, the hard drive space and the external hard drive I'll be getting I believe it's a Western Digital either that or it's a Seagate it's one of the two because we're buying it. it. It is a used one, but it's wiped out, so it's 160 gigs for only 80 bucks. Great, great. No, actually, like 60 bucks. Sorry. Great, great price, guys. Uh, okay, so this is the partition part, basically. It's just you want, you don't need, you know, some people bought partition magic. You know, they can, you can do that, too. It's, uh, but, you know, uh, I just used Ubuntu's default settings, pretty much. I just raised my bar, and I went into GE Parted, which is G Parted, actually, I should say, which, uh, you know, showed my my drive and all the space and you know all that stuff and the great thing about Ubuntu once you partition the drive you can still access your Windows files within Ubuntu you can access text files videos stuff like that and edit them and I, I'm not sure as far as app you can access the application as far as using them right off Ubuntu I'm not sure because it might not be Linux compatible and now Linux is the main core of the Ubuntu is just a distribution like Windows there's Windows and there's Vista and there's XP something like that there's over like hundreds of distributions and a lot of open source software on the Ubuntu by default. Again, sorry here, my camera is all shaking around. Anyways, there's a weird effect again. You see here, partition, um, setting that up, and you know, this is a real pain in the neck if you don't know what you're doing. So I would recommend if, you know, if, if it's a dedicated dish machine for Ubuntu, put the entire disk, if not, partition at least half depending on what operating system you're running inside. And I'm just gonna switch out of camera here now. And uh, switch. Okay, so uh, basically, yeah, you know, Ubuntu was uh, was the partition part was really hard to install, but with the help of a friend, it was you know really easy. He's a great, great, uh, he's a great, great help. And if you see there behind me, right back there, yeah, there's Ubuntu. Uh, I have the Linux Penguin back there. The Linux Penguin back there. Anyways, uh, guys, uh, like I said, Ubuntu. Uh, with one partitioning, if uh, if it's a dedicated machine specifically for just Ubuntu or whatever distribution, whatever it may be, you know, of course you can use the entire disk. If not, if you're, like, you're going to run multiple distributions, I heard 20, you know, uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 gigs would have been enough to run Ubuntu, yet I still ran 70, so I still have a lot of space to put apps on there, so, you know, you can run, like, multiple distributions on one computer, like, it'll be Linux, you know, server, and, you know, I am thinking about getting a dedicated machine for Ubuntu after I get my Macs. Mac is my first priority. But, uh, you know, so now I'll be experiencing about, I've experienced right now three operating systems. Vista, XP, and uh, Ubuntu now. They are discontinuing XP soon in the markets, I believe Emix said by June 3rd. Uh, so I'm thinking about picking up a spare, uh, I've always wanted to try XP Pro and I need to pick up that and Microsoft Office for school so uh, you know some software I need to pick up but yeah like I said I can't wait till I get OS 10 Leopard then I'll have four operating systems and that you will see future videos of a uh, different op uh, different uh, what do you call that Linux uh, distributions out there stuff like uh, I'm thinking about Barrel, there's Sabion a lot of graphical uh, really really cool graphic ones and Ubuntu has a lot of stuff, guys. It has a lot of features within it. You know, it comes with Firefox, all that stuff, and a lot of options right off the bat. Really, really easy to down. Uh, really easy to set up. And as you see here, guys, it's finally done. It's early morning. You see the time change right there. I just woke up because I. If you see there, well, the clip. See, I'm I'm narrating this whole timeline, guys. So like I said, it's gonna look out of cynic. Anyways, guys, I just woke up here in this clip and. I got everything done, and as of now, it is everything is running fine. Uh, I booted up its XP as well. Uh, XP is fine. Like I said, it uh, I thought it'd be slow at first. It was a little bit sluggish right when I booted it into XP, but I gave it time and I defragmented the hard drive. You know, meaning I pushed all the files a little bit closer so that it reads faster on the hard drive space. And my C drive is its own physical own drive now for XP only. And uh, what do you call that? Now, uh, so everything's good from there, uh, and yeah, Ubuntu was completely installed, XP now runs great, I restarted after, uh, uh, what do you call that, defragmenting, and it runs great, you know, 
Ubuntu doesn't really interfere with it. I'm thinking I'm going to set up a network with all this stuff. So Ubuntu guys, finally done. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really.